Hello everyone, I welcome you all to our YouTube channel Agri Addict. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, mastering microbiology, the full syllabus, previous year question paper analysis, the weightage of topics, important areas to focus, and the recommended books for studying this microbiology for ICR JRF Lancet's exam. With, we'll just discuss about the ICR JRF syllabus for microbiology, which starts with characteristics of prokaryotes and eukaryotic organisms and difference between fungi, bacteria, mycoplasma, and the virus. So, in this part, first particular topic, you can just see that there is a content which will overlap with the other subjects, which is again genetics and pathology. So, if you are covering this content from those subjects, then you, to, you need to just glance the same things here in the microbiology. Secondly, we have sterilization, disinfection, pasteurization. Thirdly, it's coast postulates, which are very, very important. You can expect some statement-wise questions here. And the fourth, we have nitrate assimilation, biological nitrogen fixation, and other commercial uses of microorganisms in agriculture. In this fourth topic, you can expect one or two questions regularly every year from nitrate assimilations and biological nitrogen fixation. So you need to have the clear-cut idea about the process, about the reaction, and also the enzymes that are involved. And last, we have food and industry, composting, and biogas production. So this particular topic, you need to have certain elemental knowledge so that if they ask anything related to this particular topic, you will be able to answer. Just uh, previous in the previous slide, I have just talked about the syllabus that is mentioned by. ICR for JR of plant science exams. Now I will, I will tell you about the books to be referred for the same. So it's starting with we have a book called An Introduction to Microbiology by Tarun Kapoor. So in this particular book, for covering the syllabus under ICR JRF, you need to just cover first five and last five chapters that are more than efficient or sufficient. And then we have Fungi, Bacteria, and the Virus by H.C. Dube. This particular book is mostly followed to cover the introduction of the pathogen in case of plant pathology. So if you have covered this particular book, the content that is present in this book for pathology, just you need to glance these things from some other material. And next we have, uh, there is a certain material, course material, which is Anglo notes, which is very concise and simple. So once after studying this Taro and Kapoor and also covering fungi, bacteria and the virus, just, just go through this course material. So if anything is left out, you can just cover out, cover from this particular course material. So next, after covering all the content from these three materials that I mentioned now, you can just read out the things that are present in this general agriculture book. So one familiar book is uh, Nemra Sundra. You can just digest the content of microbiology from this particular book just for the revision sake. And you can also go through the objective books by general agriculture by SR Kantwa. So here I won't say that you can expect the similar type or same type of questions that you see in this particular book. But it's just that you can you will get a confidence uh, if you are just attending these questions in the objective books after digesting all the content from the different author books. So I just recommend you to just boost your confidence from by solving these objective books. Next, you can also go through this Arun Kata in Volume 2, which consists of this microbiology. You can just cover this content just to recall the things that you have studied from the main author books. So this is these are the list of the books which are mainly required to cover the content which is there for ICR JRF plant and syllabus for microbiology. This is the list of all other books. This is not only for microbiology. This is, these are the books for covering or just glancing the complete plant science. So it starts with instant plant science and the plant science at a glance. These are the books which you should just which are very necessary to recall the things that you have studied from various author books. So starting with genetics and plant breeding, you might be studying all the content from BD Singh. So once you have studied these things at least three to four times, you can just come to this instant plant chains or plant chains at a glance just to re revise and recall the things. And next, you can also solve the plant chains model papers and plant pathology papers from uh, author from an author which is S.V. Sai Prasad. So you can just go through and solve these papers just to boost your confidence. And also you can, if you get enough time after reading all the content and covering all the syllabus, so then you can also read this plan change a competitive vision book by Arpit Kaur, if time permits, it's up to you. And, and last thing and most important thing is to go through the previous year papers and analyze the pattern. So for this sake, you need to revise the paper or analyze the papers that you get 
at least three to four years. So since the pattern has been changed from 2020, you just stick from 2020 and just go through the 2021, 2022 papers, you'll get three different year papers. So all the papers are sorted out based on the subject and year wise. And also the solutions are also given and which is updated in your app. You can just download our app and uh, click on the free content section or free material sections where you'll get the PDF of all, of all these papers which are sorted based on the subjects so that it will be very convenient for you to analyze the how they will, they will ask the questions from all these different subjects. And we have also provided the solutions within it which will again save your time. So this was all about the syllabus and about the books that you need to refer or the content that you need to refer. So now we'll talk about the weightage. So if you just observe just three years paper, three previous year papers, on an average it's about five to six questions that are coming in the JRF and this number again varies with the paper setup but on an average it's five to six. In addition to these five to six questions, you can also expect one or two questions but these questions are again interlinked with the other subjects which are majorly genetics and plant pathology. So in this microbiology, you can expect all range of patterns starting with direct questions, statement wise, master types, assessment reasoning or chronological sequence type. So all these questions are expected from this microbiology. So till now in the three slides, I just explained you about the syllabus, the books to be referred and what you can, what is the weightage. So now just will give you the, I will give you the overview of what you can expect for JRF from microbiology. So these are the list of topics which are very important. I have not mentioned all the topics. It's not like uh, you, uh, questions will not come out of this particular slide, but majorly you can expect uh, 60 to 70 percent of the questions will be from this particular topics that I have mentioned here. So st it starts with the history where, where you will get the questions in a matching or statement wise questions about the achievements of the scientists, their contributions and the years. And secondly, it's cell structure and modes of reproduction in case of bacteria which starts with conjugation, transformation and transduction. This is very very important topic which you need to have a clear cut idea about the same. So which you can also refer from the BD Singh book regarding the modes of reproduction which is also given very clearly given in that particular book and next is about the growth phases and the growth curves you can expect some questions in a sequence wise type in this particular topic topic and next day about the fermentation and their examples you can expect the questions in the mass of following for this particular topic and then it is about cycles a list that is what is what and about the examples like nitrogen cycle sulfur cycle phototropes and chemotropes etc Next, we have difference between lytic and temperate phase. So this particular topic, I would suggest you to study in the comparative mode so that you will have some clear cut idea about the same. Then it is mentioned about the fluctuation, which is the uh, detection methods for the mutations. So this is very clearly given again in the BD Singh book. You can just go through the book so ha to have the clear cut idea. So where you can expect if they are asking anything about this particular topic, you can expect this in the statement based questions. So again, it is about uh, nitrogen and sulfur cycle and their examples. Next, we have water microbiology, water purifications. You can expect the sequence wise questions in this particular topic. And about food preservations, their techniques and principles. Uh, they might ask you these things. And lastly, it is about the industrial microbiology, bionuclants, bioinsecticide, biogas and examples. So this particular topic, I already told you that you need to have some elemental knowledge so that if anything is asked, you will, you will be able to answer these questions or address the question. So this was all regarding uh, the microbiology. I just tried it to make it very simple for you so that you can study it in a very better way. So, so we the students of PhD and MSc students, uh, MSc are giving the live classes in terms of online master course for plant, plant science subject started where we will deal with all the different subjects in plant science starting with genetics, plant breeding, plant pathology, microbiology, seed science and technology. Along with the live video lectures, we also provide the fully fledged notes, full detail notes and also the crisp materials, the concise materials and the previous, previous year discussion papers and their solutions and also the uh, mock test for all the different subjects and the clubbed mega mock test are also given in this particular course. So in our course, we are going to 
we have just sorted it, sorted all the content for this microbiology and made it to six different video lectures to make it very simple and convenient so diff, six different video lectures include starting with introduction of microbiology and about bacteria its structure and all the historical aspects that is related to microbiology and second in the second class we will be dealing with biofertilizers nitrogen cycles and phosphorus phosphorus solubilizing microbes and herbascular mycorrhiza in the third class it's about control methods of microbes viruses a list of types different types of interactions that we are going to deal in the fourth class it's about water treatment process list of biocontrol agents and different preservation methods and fifth we have key definition of foodborne illness and all the list of fermented products and their byproducts or foods antibiotics and their effects organic acids and the enzymes with the examples all the different things are given in this we will be just dealing in the different class and we will be giving the full fledged notes regarding the same and the lastly we will just providing you the overview of biogas production and the comp composting and we will be concluding the microbiology classes so if you are interested to take these classes you can just visit the link that will be provided in the description box and also we will we are having some free mock test a free uh, plant change mock test in our app where you can just download this app and you can just find this test and you can attempt this free mock, mock test and also you will get to see some free materials that you can download and you can take the printout and you can use it for your preparation for ICRGR exam so we will be again coming with some more good content and if you have any specific doubts or queries you can also comment in this particular video or you can just directly contact us through the information that is provided in the description box thank you